Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to talk about the concept of what is neutral. And of course, a good place to start would be water. Water is actually the neutrality point between an acid and a base. And what does that really mean? Well, let's say we have a beaker of water, and there's tons of water molecules in there. What happens is a very small percentage of the water molecules will actually dissociate into the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion. How many? Well, it turns out that the concentration of the hydrogen ion as a result of this, this dissociation is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter, and that would be at 25 degrees centigrade. Now, that is very important. This, also, this is not always pointed out, but of course, the number will be different at different temperatures. At high temperatures, the dissociation will be higher. So at 25 degrees centigrade, which is typically room temperature, the number is 1, point, 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter. What does that really mean? Well, let's think about it this way. Let's say we have a beaker that has one liter of, of water in it, water molecules, and the question is how many hydrogen ions are in that beaker from the simple result that at 25 degrees centigrade, a certain percentage of the water will dissociate into hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. Well, notice that the mass of one liter of water is one kilogram, and the mass of one mole of water is 18 grams, 16 grams for the oxygen, and then two grams for each of the, for the two hydrogen ions, they're one gram each. So that means that one, one mole of, of water has a mass of 0 0.018 kilograms. Now, if you take the ratio of that, the, the number of moles of the water molecules divided by the number of liters, oh, let me uh, back up here for a moment. So if we then take the ratio, the number of moles of water per liter of water, well, since we have one kilogram per liter and there's 0 0.018 kilograms per mole, that means there's 55.6 moles of water in one liter of water. Okay, if there's that many moles of water in one liter of water and there's that many moles of the hydrogen ions in one liter of water, if we then take the ratio of that, so the number of moles per liter of the hydrogen ion divided by the number of moles of water molecules in a liter of water, that ratio is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 9 this is about 2 per billion, which means that on typically on average at 25 degrees centigrade, about two, um, two molecules of water will dissociate into hydrogen and hydroxide ions over a billion or for a billion of water molecules. So for every w 1 billion water molecules in water at 25 degrees centigrade, two of them will dissociate typically into hydrogen and the hydroxide ion. That's a very small number. Well, that that number there would be considered neutrality because what happens, of course, is since an equal number of hydrogen ions dissociate from hydroxide ions, because for every water molecule you have one hydrogen ion and one hydroxide ion, you then know that the, the ratio, or, the, or we should say the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to the hydroxide ion, and at that point we can say that the solution is neutral. That's why we consider water neutral. Of course, that means that if there's that many moles per liter of the hydrogen ion, there must be that many moles per liter of the hydroxide ion. So when there's that many, when there's 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter of the hydrogen ion and 1, point, 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter, and of course I should say moles per liter, um, of the hydroxide ion, then we can say the substance is neutral and that why, that's why we say water is neutral. That's, by the way, the point at which the pH of water would be, ze would be equal to 7, and we'll explain in a later video how that, act, how that exactly works, how to actually calculate the pH. So now what happens to a substance like this, which is in a neutral state, like pure water, that does not have any other ions in it, what happens when you add an acid to it? Well, when you add an acid to it, what that means is you're going to increase the number of hydrogen ions and decrease the number of hydroxide ions. So if there's more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions, then it's no longer neutral. More hydrogen ions means now the substance or the liquid or the aqueous solution, it is now acidic. And if you add a base to the solution and you introduce more hydroxide ions and then you will take away some of the hydrogen ions, there will be more hydroxide ions than there will be hydrogen ions and therefore the solution, the aqueous solution now will be basic in nature. And so for an acidic solution, the pH will be less than 7. For a, a basic solution, the pH will be greater than 7. And so you then deviate from that neutral point that water normally is at when you have water all by itself. So that's the definition of neutrality. And now we can see what happens to the pH and to the acidity or to the basic properties of the solution when we add more hydrogen ions or we add more hydroxide ions to the solution in later videos.